which is because they're sold by the pound. That's what you want to do. And it does push them to give more milk. So, so we're exploiting the cows by giving them rich food, <laughs> right? It, because that's how you make your money. And they're not doing it because they love the cows and want them to have a nice, rich diet. They're doing it because they want to make more money on them. And it causes them a lot of suffering. These, and, they, and they don't stop just with soybeans. Then they, they start feeding them fish. They, they're, all their feed is enriched with fish meal, which concentrates all the heavy metals and PCBs and dioxin and nuclear radiation and everything. Goes into cows, goes into the milk, concentrates in cheese. It's like 10 pounds mm. of cheese and uh, of milk, one pound of cheese. Mm. So anyone who eats cheese is eating the most concentrated toxic load you can imagine, or eggs, or fish. The three things that people think, well, I'm, I'm eating better now. I gave up everything except for dairy, eggs, and fish. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, that's the worst things <laughs> in terms of your health. Uh, mm -hmm. But the point is, the cow is getting exploited uh, by giving, feeding her this terribly rich food. And so cows get a lot of cancer. They have all these, they have mm -hmm. E. coli from this terrible diet, this rich diet passes it on to us. Um, and so, so for, for us to understand this, it's like the same thing is happening to us. We're being fed a very rich diet that we're not designed for, mm -hmm. and it's causing us to have quadruple heart bypass surgery and cancer and diabetes and all these things that make huge amounts of money. So it's time to just wake up and realize that we have these beautiful foods that have all the nutrients that we need to thrive. They have all the amino acids to make all the proteins. They have all the fiber that we need, which is no fiber in any animal-based foods. They have all the complex carbohydrates that we need to have glucose, to have energy, to think, and to run around, which is no uh, carbohydrates in any animal foods at all. I mean, it's incredible. They make all the fats that we need, all the essential fatty acids, all the minerals, all the vitamins. Everything comes from plants. Animals don't contribute anything. They take from plants, but you don't have to have the middle animal. So once we understand that and realize how we can thrive with much less toxicity and much less violence on these glorious plant-based foods, uh, then we start to make connections. See, that's the key. We start to make the connection. Then our intelligence comes back. We begin to say, well, wait. Intelligence is like looking, it's like if we see a burger, we just see the burger. Intelligence goes, wait, what's behind that burger? Oh, it's a cow back there, <laughs> right? It's looking beyond the shallow surface level. Eating animal foods trains us to stay shallow, not look deeply, not care deeply, not feel deeply, not think deeply, just follow orders and go along. Because that's what the tribe does. We're in the tribe. We don't want to ask questions. We're just going to do whatever we're told. That is a recipe for disaster if that whole thing is based on a lie, that we have to kill animals to eat. And it's, and it's based on a lie that maybe we, we could get away with it you know, 10,000 years ago or even a few hundred years ago. But when you have 8 billion people, you have high you know, technology that can easily destroy forests and us and cities and everything. We need to have a whole new foundation where we're making connections, we're connecting with our inner wisdom, our spiritual intuition. And we're also, the other thing is the ethical part which is not only making connections cognitively and eth really ethically and spiritually, but also to understand that to create a society of justice, which is based on honoring uh, those who are less powerful than us, right? Not just exploiting them, exploiting them because they're weaker. But the thing is, every meal, if I'm sitting at the meal eating animal foods, the subtext of the meal is certain beings are inherently superior. That's us. Certain beings are inherently inferior. That, that's them. It's fine for us to dominate and exploit those inferior beings. So here we are, we're working for social justice, we're working for equality, we're eating meat, dairy, and eggs, and we're eating the exact opposite of what we uh, think we're working for. And we realize that our whole project of trying to create a society of more justice and equality is stalling out. It's, in fact, it's going backwards. In 2016, uh, according to the study by Oxfam, uh, the richest 1% of that population had equal amount of wealth as the other 99%. Now that's an incredibly unjust system. Like when you have 1% has so much money they can control the government and all the agencies and everything, and the other 99% they <laughs> had as much power as 1%. But then they did the, the same test, uh, study in 20, 2022, and at that point, the richest 1% had twice the wealth of the other 99%. <laughs> right? So, you know, it, it's, it's going in that direction. And that's because of animal agriculture. It's because of the mentality of animal agriculture, 
where the weak is dominated by the strong. And the weaker we get, the stronger they get, and the more they control our education, the, our government, our medical, our, the media, they control everything. They control the narratives, that, what we say to ourselves. They control what we think, our thoughts. And they, they, these, I mean, it's a science. It's a very, very, very sophisticated science. It's fifth generation.